actually got quite a, a, a fractured uh, array of different stories there on the front cover, Scott, but I think mm. we're going to go with the spy story first of all. That seems to be just about top of the heap. All right. Well, Pegasus. Have yeah, you been covering that? As it turns out, uh, number 10 has been hacked by the um, infamous uh, NSO group. But every time I see that name, the NSO group, I think there's some sort of, like, you know, non-profit, and I should yes. admire them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the name is meant to NSO, confuse us. Yeah, 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 like a quango or an NGO. Yeah, exactly, yeah, an NGO. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're out of Israel. Uh, they were formed in 2016, a company that uh, makes uh, malware, software, that they say is meant to... Um, discourage uh, crime in countries and terrorism. Yes, government. So it's, it's licensed to governments. It is. Yeah. And, but what governments have been using it for in some cases is to um, find journalists and kill them or uh, do other naughty the things. you're saying. It was used Well, to, it was yeah, traced yeah, yeah. to that. Yeah, exactly. And what can it do exactly? I, I think it can see you through your own camera phone. It can. It gets in through your camera. phone or, yeah. or your computer, but mostly through your phone because that's the yeah. most accessible way. And without the user knowing it, it traces your whereabouts, it looks at your photos, it sucks up all, all your information and hands it back to the person tracing you. Does it spot your typos on Twitter? Everything, yeah. <laughs> I know. When you're usually with the phone, you, you, say all the, you see the little... Dot on. You're like, oh, my camera's on. Now right. I know it is. But with this one, it doesn't. The, the, the little oh, dots. Oh, really? And you don't, don't have to push it. You know, you can you can just literally be sitting there holding your phone, going, hey, yeah. "What's going on now?" Exactly. And it will be recording you, and it won't have the little dot to let you know. Or anything. And also, you don't have to. You, you can't be um, kind of cheated with some weird email or text into pressing a button. You don't have to press anything. No. It just finds you. It's yeah. not just because you've been on Pornhub and you exactly. go onto the secret channel. You're sharing, way, <laughs> sharing so much about yourself tonight. Secret channel. I did actually, I mean, I don't know if this is, I think that was one generation of spyware was used. Mm. I have a, a barrister friend who was saying it's extraordinary, actually, the number of people who do end up in court because they have been blackmailed usually by... Oh, well, I got one of those. Companies. I got one of those. Yeah. I, got, I got an email that said that we will release a video of you yeah, masturbating yeah. in front of this if you don't. And I said, could I please see the video? Yeah, yes, yeah. Lord. Can I pay you to release it? It might do for you what it did for Kim Kardashian. <laughs> the Dave Fulton sex thing. I, I'm all you, over that. Yeah, you in short that. shorts and a football jersey. Um, or at least that's what, how, how I picture think, it. I mean, in all seriousness, I remember about five or six years ago, there was a photograph of um, Zuckerberg on mm. his uh, Apple Mac, you know, mm. uh, showing you how to use Facebook. And everyone noticed he had a bit of an elastoplast over his camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they quite often do that, the guys who know it. Oh, like, a lot the same of ones who it. will say, I will never give my teenage daughter a phone. <laughs> you know, I will cover everything. <laughs> well, I think people feel um, safe using their phones. I think they feel like it's their best friend. Yeah. And your best friend can be quite naughty as well. Anyway. Well, I have a thing, you know, this is a, an, another uh, tiny, like, trivial domestic version of it, but my, my wife has installed something on the kids' phones and her phone where mm. they can, you can see where each other are. Mm. And this is all very cute, right? And I refuse to have it. Yeah, I don't want to And then the it. other day, they, I said, where's, where's, where's mum? And, and, uh, and my son checked. And she was with my daughter in London, which we, we thought they weren't together. <laughs> there was, like, some secret thing going on. And mm. I accused I mean, it wasn't a big deal. Mm. But you can easily see how... I mean, it's already slightly... If you can manage sinister, that with your son, exactly. then, yeah, I'll prefer I kind of feel that's a slightly weird... It's creepy. I don't know that we're... Creep. I'm yeah, sorry, it's, it's, it's like just it's creepy. Wrong, yeah. It's just creepy. Yeah. No, no, it makes it's me feel creepy. like I'm in a box and I'm being watched all the time. It's, it's really strange. It's and we are being watched all the time anyway, yeah. but especially with... Well, this. we always used to say, I remember when I was about 12 when I gradually became aware that uh, I didn't really believe in Jesus and God anymore. Mm. And then my grandfather died, and I suddenly had an idea of him watching me. I, d I had that for two or three years, mm. his specific ghost, and it wasn't in a very Christian sense, but it was quite an effective one yeah, in terms of moderating behavior my behavior. Because yeah, yeah. he was actually quite a cool guy. He was, you know, like, John Wayne was his kind of hero, you know, rough justice and everything. So oh, it wasn't yeah. being watched Racist in a cowboy. bad way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like, cowboy. make sure you don't... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wash your hands when you come in from... Yeah. Yeah, you know, Keep it... your thumbs out of the way when, yeah. you, when you're putting your fists up, that kind of thing. I, I mean, I wish that's what this was, but it, it, it's, it's much more um, yeah. surreptitious than that. And apparently uh, a, a company at Toronto, Citizens Lab, has identified Number 10 as having been hacked by this yeah. kind of malware. And, and they're, A number of countries have been, I think. We're, yeah, I mean, we're reporting been. on it happening here. But, but it's... They're keeping an eye on Number 10 because they said Number 10 has become a target for some reason. And uh, apparently all the SIM cards of all the phones have, they've noticed have been, have been hacked with the number 10. Good. They're not identifying which device specifically. Yeah. They're just saying they're getting an aura, a sense, yeah. a feeling. Well, you know Johnson's going to have a few burners anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. lifestyle. I, mean, I feel possibly. like all his secrets have been revealed and we're still yes. letting him do what he does. I mean, 50 pounds true. of pop, he's not going <laughs> to stop, I don't think. I think that getting a sort of a, that, that 50 pound fine is just means another party, really. Another reason to celebrate. I think that, yeah, that would really bother me about that is the fact that if I, because... 
during that whole thing going down, I wanted to go to Scotland to go ice climbing. You would have paid and, 50 quid for that, wouldn't you? I, well, and, I, and I was told by somebody very close to me who was a police officer, said, well, you'll, as soon as you're out of your region, you're going to be fined 200 pounds mm. yeah. every time. And I had a, I had 1,000 pounds cash, and I told my climbing partner, let's go. The yeah. conditions in Scotland are great. And he's like, no, I can't do it. And it was 200 pounds, and he gets 50? Yeah. That's a I'm change, at, I was, that's, that's, of, that's the change in the Well, he in is the wife, so that's 100. And it might go 12 times over. It's so a 1,200 altogether. Amazing. The best fine I ever paid, we, we were in uh, Italy near Rome, mm. and we drove into, we hired a car and drove into Rome. I think there was something they had mentioned something, we didn't understand it. Mm. It turns out it's not, it's like a congestion charge, but you just cannot go if you haven't got the right registration on right. that day. Yeah. There was no traffic on the roads at all. I parked right outside <laughs> the Pantheon. I mean, literally, like on the steps of like one of the world's great monuments, <laughs> you know. And then when you get home, it was like a 90 quid fine <laughs> driving through, and I was like, Kind of totally totally worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. You know, in Montana, in, back in America, they used to have this deal that they, there was no, you had to drive within the speed limit for the conditions kind of thing. Yeah. And the cops would pull you over for doing like 80 miles an hour. And you didn't get a speeding ticket. You got a, a ticket for uh, misuse of natural resources. Nice. And it was a $20 fine payable on the spot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and like my buddy John Steele says, here's 100 bucks. I'm going to speed through yeah, the whole, yeah. whole state. But yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. I do feel like we've gone off topic a little bit. Have, but anyway. Sorry.